it's Matt Clark at the new Matt Clark, and uh, it's Sunday, and it's a beautiful day, and uh, I'm having a great weekend. I hope everybody's having a great weekend, and uh, there's some things I want to talk about. So, one question I get asked a lot is, should I take federal? Like, if they is is it is it better to do your time in federal, or is it better to do your time in provincial? And my suggestion would be. Do not accept federal unless there's no option. Uh, it's a trap, you know, but let me go back a little bit. So when you first start in the system, almost guaranteed in Ontario, they're going to start throwing easy plea bargain offers at you. And do not fall for the trick. It is a trick and it's a trap. So rather than offer you rehabilitation... They will warehouse you and they will offer you plea bargain after plea bargain. And then one day you'll get charged for something and that plea bargain will be off the table and uh, they will try to get the maximum time out of you. And the, the problem with that is that you have zero argument, you know, at that point uh, because they gave you the outs, right? They gave you the plea bargains, the easy time. Uh, and rather than learn from it, most people just take it as a slap on the wrist and don't take it seriously and do more and more and more. And then when they finally get you, when they got that evidence and it's on something that can get you some time, they're going to sink right in and they're going to max out. And, uh, you know, that's not what you want. So if you have any chance of fighting it, I know the bucket sucks. The bucket sucks. Lindsay, Penetang, Maplehurst, uh, the South... Uh, Exeter Road, Hamilton, uh, Thorough, all of them suck, all right? Federal time is a lot more comfortable. Uh, you just have a lot more freedom. Visits are better. Don't do it. I'm telling you, do not do it. Uh, the only time that I would recommend that you accept a federal sentence, if you're teetering on that two-year time, is if you're dead serious about making changes in your life. Because if you stay in the provincial system, chances are you're going to get probation. It's going to be a lot harder to get out of the system. But if you go federal and you're serious about change, when your sentence is over, you will be free. And you, and you will have an opportunity to really uh, make that change. But anyways, back to the original question, which is, should you take federal? If you're teetering on that line, rather than sit in the bucket, do some dead time, and then take a provincial sentence, should you go federal, just plead guilty, take the two years plus and go federal for comfort? And to me, that depends. Uh, it depends on a few things. First of all, what kind of person are you? You know, is that the kind of cloth that you're cut from? Uh, federal time is different. You know, you're, you're sure you have more uh, luxuries like your TV in your cell and stuff like that. But it's also a very different world. You know, uh, consequences to your actions are much more serious. And uh, if you're somebody who's done a lot of dirt in the bucket and may have enemies, then maybe you want to um, reconsider that. Because uh, people don't forget faces. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people get caught up in the provincial system and become bullies in the bucket and punk people off for the food or the phone, uh, slap people around. And they don't think that these people have any courage or have any friends uh, rather than just really sitting back and thinking, maybe this guy's letting me do this because I have 12 friends and he has zero. Uh, doesn't mean that person is a puss. That just might mean that person's smart. Uh Live to fight another day. You know what I mean? Because uh, you can... It's reality. You can, die, you can die in jail. And it's a lot easier to die in the federal system than in the provincial system. In most cases. Uh, so my advice would be do not take uh, the federal time unless absolutely necessary. Tough it out. Do the dead time. Get the time and a half. Uh, and take the provincial time. It will suck. But when you're done, when you get out at your two-thirds, you're done. You might have a year of probation, two years probation. Sure, it sucks. But if you're following the rules, you'll be fine. You know, uh, I always used to sit back and say to and, and 
really feel sorry for myself about parole and this is so difficult. You know, how are we supposed to survive? It's not possible. We're set up for failure. And the reality is this time I'm working and I'm not using and I rarely see my PO. You know, she's, uh, she doesn't bother me at all. And I know that there are parole officers who are, who are, uh, uh, hard asses and will really just be all over you. Uh, I was on team supervision before, so I feel that. Uh, but anyways, my point being, take the provincial, tough it out, get through it, get out with a provincial record, no federal record, and move on with your life. If you accept the federal sentence, things are going to change in your life. First of all, if they haven't taken your DNA, they're going to. Uh, second of all, you get your FPS number, your federal parole number, and that's it. Your fingerprint number for, from federal. That's it. You're done. Uh, anytime you have any kind of serious offense, you're going to get two years plus. Uh you might get parole and, and courts will use manipulation. So uh, even defense lawyers will literally look you in your eyes and lie to you and tell you that as soon as you get, if you take the plea, as soon as you get down to the penitentiary, you'll do one six of your time. You'll get parole after six months. You'll be out in the street and blah, 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 blah. Not facts. Uh, reality is very few people get parole. Uh, if you're a first-time federal offender on nonviolent charges and your behavior is really good inside, you may get parole. Uh, but other than that, you know, parole can be very difficult. Mind you, now I got parole uh, on my third federal offense to go to treatment. Uh, but, you know, first they trap you into the system and then they realize how much of a burden you are in the system and then they want you out of it. So your third time around, they offer you rehabilitation. Instead of your first time around, which to me seems a little backwards, uh, you know, but that's the government for you. Uh, so yeah, my advice is do not accept the federal time. Stick with the provincial. Federal is a lot more comfortable. You know, your food's going to be better. Uh, you get all day visits, touch visits, uh, you get conjugal visits, and if you have a family, you know, and... Uh, you want to see your kids, maybe that's the way to go. But I would tell you, do not accept federal time unless you are going to uh, really change your life and move on from the criminal lifestyle. If not, you're just setting a trap for yourself, mouse trap. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get caught up, hamster on the wheel, and there will be no escape in it. So that would be my suggestion, uh, you know. Take my advice because I've been through it, you know, and uh, I think that's a, a good idea for anybody who maybe is out on bail or uh, in jail even and, and somebody they know hears this. Uh, anyways, that's all I'm going to say about that. I am the new Matt Clark. Like and subscribe. Please love you.